This is the Anvi Multifocal Intraocular Lens, or IOL, and over the past seven months, I used 201 of these Anvi Multifocal Lenses for patients who would come to see me for premium cataract surgery or premium lens replacement. In this video, I'm going to give my review of how well this lens works. We're going to talk about five things. What even is this lens implant? Number two, what is it used for? Number three, what lens, in my experience, gives the best range of vision for people who want to see near, mid, and far without glasses? Number four, what are the side effects or limitations of this lens? And number five, how did I arrive at my conclusions and my assessment of the NV multifocal lens? Before we get started, let me add one personal comment. I have no financial interest in this product or any medical company that I talk about on any of my videos. Throughout my career, I've listened to many very well-respected ophthalmologists who are key opinion leaders, and they offer their opinions on various devices, lens implants, medications that ophthalmologists use and patients receive, but they have a financial arrangement with the company to receive compensation to speak on behalf of the product. Know that if you're listening to my videos, I do not receive any compensation from any of the companies to speak about their products. I work for the patients who come to see me. First topic, what even is the NV multifocal lens? Well, it's a lens implant that is used to replace the natural lens inside our eyes to help us see near, mid, and far without glasses. And we use it in two groups of patients. The first group is generally between the age of 45 and 64. And in this age group, people will commonly need reading glasses to see their phone or read a menu, and they'll need glasses to see their computer, or they may even need bifocals to see far, mid, and near. And so, this group of patients will undergo a surgical procedure called premium lens replacement, where we remove the natural lens, the aging natural lens inside their eye, and replace it with a premium lens implant, such as the Envy, to help them see near, mid, and far without having to rely on reading glasses or bifocals. Basically, we can help people 45 and older see clearly without glasses like they could when they were younger. The second group of patients that we use the Envy Multifocal for, or lens implants in general, are patients who are generally 65 and older, who due to the normal aging process have developed cloudy lenses, also known as cataracts. They can't see well in general through their cloudy lenses. And when it comes time for them to have cataract surgery, they elect to have a premium lens implant so they can see clearly near, mid, and far without glasses like they could when they were younger. So if you fall into one of those two groups, you want to see near, mid, and far away without glasses, and you're open to having premium lens replacement or cataract surgery to improve your vision, then you'll need to see somebody like me, an ophthalmologist who specializes in cataract and lens replacement surgery. And we will have a discussion with you and help you choose the lens that'll help you see the way you want. And if you want to see your best with the least reliance on glasses, there are several lens implants that can help you achieve that goal. Let me give you some background information on how my thought process has evolved over time regarding which premium lens implant I prefer. 
From 2019 until the first quarter of 2024, my preferred premium multifocal lens was this one, the Panoptics. During that time, I used over 3,000 Panoptics lenses, and it worked great for the vast majority of patients that we'd use it for. I found in about 97 to 98% of patients, they were extremely happy with their vision. They could see near, mid, and far, clearly without glasses in most situations. But about 2 to 3% of patients with the panoptics were bothered or dissatisfied with their vision because of two primary reasons. Number one, reduced image quality. And number two, bothersome halos that they would see around lights at nighttime. So what do we do for the 2 to 3% of patients who have a panoptics lens and complain about image quality not being as good as they want it to be? Well, in April 2024, the Odyssey multifocal lens emerged and became commercially available for our practice. We started using the Odyssey lens, and there were some patients who didn't like their image quality with the panoptics. I did an intraocular lens exchange, removed the panoptics, gave these patients an Odyssey, and most of those patients with the Odyssey felt that their image quality, near, mid, and far, was better with the Odyssey than, than the Panoptics. So over the past year, I've used about 560 Odyssey lenses and it's worked very well. About 98% of patients with the Odyssey lens are very happy, uh, but there's still that 2% that are not happy with the Odyssey lens. And what are they unhappy about with this lens? Two things. Number one, patients with the Odyssey lens sometimes will say, I can read my phone very clearly. I can see far away to drive and watch TV very clearly. It's this middle distance, like the distance of a monitor of a desktop computer that seems to be a little out of focus. And some patients with the Odyssey lens will notice that mid-range gap and still need to wear glasses to see their computer as clearly as they want. Also, I'm finding that patients with the Odyssey have halos at night that are very similar to the halos that they notice with the panoptics lens. So in terms of nighttime halo effect, I find these two lenses perform very similarly. 98% see fine, but 2% find the halos at night with both of these lenses to be somewhat intolerable. So let's say that with the Odyssey and the Panoptics, a patient comes in and they're intolerant of the halos that they see around lights at night because of the design of this lens. It has rings in it. And they want to have reduced halos. What do we do? We perform intraocular lens exchange. We'll give them a different lens, maybe a lens that does not have rings that gives better image quality at night. But if we give them a lens that doesn't have a halo effect, we advise those patients that they will likely become more reliant on glasses to see up close. That's, there's always a trade-off. There is no perfect lens implant that's gonna give you perfect range of vision, perfect image quality at all distances for 100% of the population. In October 24, we were using both these lenses, and most patients were very happy. And that's when we met with our friends who work with Bausch & Lohm, and they introduced us to the Envy multifocal lens at that time. And because we were doing pretty well with these lenses, our patients were overall very happy with these two lens implants. We were a little reluctant to use the Envy multifocal lens. We thought, uh, it's probably going to be very similar to one of the existing multifocal lenses that we use. There's very little incentive to use it. But then I spoke with a colleague of mine, Dane Brooks, who's an ophthalmologist in Plano, and he said that his patients were having great results with fewer side effects with the NV multifocal lens. So in November 2024, I started using the NV multifocal lens. And between November 2024 
and May 21st, 2025, I placed 201 of these lenses for my patients. And long story short, it's, in my opinion, the best performing multifocal lens that I've ever used to date. And let me tell you in the remainder of this video how and why that is my opinion as of today, May 23rd, 2025. In this chart, I'm going to talk about the three most commonly used multifocal lenses in the United States in 2025. Let me first add that they're all great lenses. They perform very well for the vast majority of patients. But I always emphasize with patients, there is no perfect lens implant. The best lens you ever had was the lens you were born with and which performs well from birth until you're about 40 years old. Lens implants perform great and the technology continues to improve, but they're just not as perfect as the lens God made for you. So all three of these lenses perform very well for far vision. I would say the panoptics for some people will give reduced image quality or contrast far away. The far vision of the Odyssey is great. The far vision of the Envy thus far seems to be great. In terms of mid-range vision, they all perform very well. And I would say about 95% of patients with the Odyssey see great mid-range, but about 5% of patients with the Odyssey will notice that their mid-range vision is not quite as good as their far and near vision. The Envy and Panoptics lenses seem to give great mid-range vision. All three lenses seem to perform beautifully for near vision. I will add one other thing is that the Envy seems to give great image quality, probably the best image quality of all three of these lenses. All three of these lenses, because of their design, they all have rings inside the lens that will create a nighttime halo that patients will see around points of light such as traffic lights and car lights and street lights at night. The vast majority of patients that see the halos are not bothered. But about 2% to 3% of patients will be bothered by these halos with the Odyssey and Panoptics. I'm finding that the halo around lights at night with the Envy is much more tolerable by our patients thus far. In terms of quality of vision, all three give great quality vision. I would give the nod to the Envy in terms of giving best overall quality of vision of these three multifocals. Need for glasses in all three is minimal. Visual contrast or color perception is great with all of them. Again, I think the Envy is a little bit better. I'm just not hearing as many visual complaints or side effects from the Envy patients. Can you use these multifocal lenses safely and effectively in patients that have had prior LASIK or PRK or smile surgery? Absolutely. They work well, in my experience, in post-LASIK patients. In general, we prefer to use these for patients who have had LASIK or PRK to correct nearsightedness. And in general, if a patient has had LASIK or PRK to correct farsightedness, we're more judicious in using multifocal lenses in that patient population. Again, we need to examine everybody's eyes in order to determine their candidacy for receiving one of these lenses. Overall satisfaction rate with these lenses is very high across the board. It seems to be the highest with the Envy. Overall dissatisfaction rate is very low for these three multifocal lenses, but when a patient is highly dissatisfied, quite often we will end up having to remove and replace their multifocal lens with a different lens implant to help them become more satisfied with their vision. And out of 201 Envy lenses that I've placed, only one has requested removal of the lens in order to improve 
their quality or range of vision. So that's less than half of 1% of my Envy patients thus far, seven months into using the Envy, that have been dissatisfied enough with their quality of vision that they requested us to exchange the Envy for a different lens. In that one patient, I exchanged their Envy for a light adjustable lens. So I prefer the lens that my patients prefer. And so far, my patients have the highest satisfaction rate and the lowest dissatisfaction rate with the Envy multifocal lens. In fairness, we need to talk about TAS, which is an inflammatory condition that was associated with the Envy multifocal lens and for which Bausch and Loam initiated a voluntary recall of the Envy multifocal. They took it off the market for about a month and a half, isolated the cause of the TAS, the inflammatory reaction, and then have since reissued the NV multifocal lens. We have been using the NV since May 12th. As of today, May 23rd, I've placed about 25 envies and all of them have done well and we've seen no cases of TAS since the recall was rescinded and the NV lens was relaunched. Oh, and by the way, I had six cases of TAS in patients that received the Envy lens prior to the recall. Fortunately, each of these six patients recovered normally and suffered no long-term sequela. Another way I determine which lens patients prefer is, again, when they're dissatisfied with a lens, such as the panoptics, and I remove their panoptics because they're unhappy with their vision, and I give them an odyssey and they see better, then that's going to indicate to me that the Odyssey has certain attributes that patients prefer. Now, over the past seven months, there have been four patients and six eyes that had the Odyssey lens. These patients were unhappy with their vision. So I would perform intraocular lens exchange, remove the Odyssey lens, and I placed the Envy lens. And in these four patients... They all preferred the quality and range of vision of the Envy lens over the Odyssey lens. In fact, I'm going to share some of their comments about what they noticed after having the Odyssey lens removed and receiving the Envy lens. Another interesting data point is there was a gentleman who I created a video on who is 23 years old and he had a Vividy lens implant that he did not like the quality of vision with the Vividy lens. So we exchanged the Vividy lens for an Envy, and he was very happy. I'll post the link to that video in the section below. In fact, I reached out to the 23-year-old gentleman who received the Envy lens after having their Vividy lens explanted, and just to make sure he's doing okay, and he confirmed he is seeing great. So our goal, if you undergo premium lens replacement or premium cataract surgery, is that we give you the ability to see near, mid, and far without glasses in most instances with the understanding that you might still have to pick up glasses some of the time for some occasions because these lens implants, they are not perfect, and surgeons and the technology are not perfect, but expect that for 98, 99% of patients, they're going to be very, very happy with their range and quality of vision. And as of May 23rd, 2025, my assessment, my opinion, my experience, no financial interest is that the Envy multifocal lens is the best multifocal lens that I've ever used to date. And it's my go-to lens as of now. Thank you for watching. Hope this information was useful. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.